John Higgins, Mortgage One. Happy Monday. So more good news on the rate front. So if you read today's update, uh, you're going to see a big retracement uh, that's referenced in, in the update. So a month ago, we hit 4.20 on the 10-year Treasury. Uh, we continue to say at that point that you know that seemed to be the peak of rates that we're going to see in this cycle. And as of now, we hit 3.40 this past week. That is an amazing pullback in, in just 30 days. So a lot of good news on that front. What is driving that? Well, we got some more, let's say, tame numbers on inflation. Not all uh, exactly what the market was hoping for, but the trend is still uh, there. We have seen eight months of a decline in the overall CPI. So this is month over month uh, reductions. That's, that's great for interest rates. So we know that the Fed is meeting this week. We have a, a consumer price index uh, inflation reading coming out tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have uh, the Fed meeting. That 50 basis point increase is baked into the market. So uh, don't be shocked when you see another jumbo-ish type uh, move from the from the Fed. But right now, you know, 350 on the 10-year Treasury uh, is kind of a nice little uh, area that uh, the market is settled on here. And that that's really translated into lower mortgage rates. So as I mentioned last week, you know, get out there and preach the word that, that rates are on their way down. Um, they've come well off their highs. So if we hit 7.5%, uh, a month ago, you know, we're well into the mid sixes and below, and that's that's great news heading into 2023. We know 2022 has been challenging the second half of the year, and we do not anticipate that 2023 start out much better. But these lower rates certainly will help. So, give me a call with any questions. Have a great week.